Say hi guys and welcome to today's video in which I decided to have with you a little chat about some of the brand new perfume releases that are so exciting to me that they actually made it to my to buy or to try list. So keep on watching this video to find out more about them and please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up as well as feel free to subscribe to my channel if you're here for the first time and once you're done with that we can get started. Welcome everyone to today's chatty video. I really want to run you through not only some of the brand new perfume releases, but actually those launches that sounded really interesting to me and are at the moment on my to buy list or some of them are actually in the cart. Those are Zara perfumes. But first things first, let's get started with this brand new launch from the brand Alice that is called Florist. And it speaks to me on so many different levels. First of all, the bottle is so bright and beautiful. I totally love the color and the overall aesthetic of the recent launches of this brand. I haven't tried them yet, but I really want to. So just in case you're familiar with any of them, please let me know what are your favorites. Would you actually recommend me something? But this fragrance might be something for me because I'm a big fan of floral fragrances and probably as the name suggests, it's going to be very flowery because in the notes right down we have so many different floral notes like jasmine, honeysuckle, tuberose, gardenia, lily of the valley but also some citrusy, fruity and uh, sheer notes like sandalwood and ambroxan so I think it's gonna be this very lovely bright fresh, cheerful floral scent, maybe it's going to be as good as the scent of the flower shop, you know, when you enter it and it's so crisp and just fresh in there. I'm yet to find a fragrance that would smell like that and if you can recommend me any, please do so in the comment section. But yeah, this bottle and the name of the fragrance, maybe it is actually created for the person who gathers bouquets, like a florist. So I really, really want to get it for different reasons and um, I'm excited to get my hands on this brand overall. So maybe if you're interested in my review on it, uh, please let me know that. But we are moving on to the next fragrance that is also very flowery. And this one is by Gucci. It's the flanker of their Bloom perfume and it's the intense formula that comes in a stunning and it's just absolutely stunning stunning black bottle. Oh my goodness, like I love the design of it so, so much. Actually, I own one, only one, hold on, Gucci Bloom perfume and it's amazing. Ambrosia di Fiori and it's so intensely white floral. I just love the power and the clarity of it. So the black one uh, seems to be very floral as well. There is night blooming jasmine, jasmine sambac and tuberose with orange absolute and patchouli moss and um, yeah, some other interesting um, floral note that I haven't seen in perfumes before, which is called Rangoon Creeper. So I don't know if it's creepy or not, but I totally love the sound, the idea of it. It's gonna be something very special, I guess, because um, this brand is doing great with flankers, releasing them in different colors. And I really like that approach, you know, releasing flankers of their fragrances, which are all a bit different, but yet they stick true and stay, you know, like, true to the identity of this very powerful white floral fragrance, which makes a bold statement and I really appreciate it for that. So just in case you want to find out more about this uh, Bloom collection by Gucci, definitely check out this video. I will leave a link down below as well to my review of all these fragrances. But with that being said, next up I have Mother of All Roses and it's another floral perfume, this time by the House of Matriarch. And I used to talk about their fragrances more often in the past. I don't know why I stopped because I still like this brand a lot. I haven't sampled any of the newer releases uh, just yet, but I'm really excited for this rosy one because Kazemi and it's one of their bestsellers and the most well-known fragrances is like a phenomenal, mind-blowing, powerful rosy fragrance. Actually, let me get it real quick. 
I wasn't ready uh, for this video, so I didn't prepare some fragrances of these brands, but at least I know where I store them. So I have quite a few, as you can tell, and Kazimi was like very interesting and dark take on the rose, so incensey and just uh, Oh yeah, potent. I absolutely adore it. It's one of a kind and uh, House of Patriarch has a very, you know, recognizable signature. So I'm excited for this fragrance. That's going to be another rose one. And since uh, Christine Michelle, she is fabulous with the roses. I think it's going to be great with Jaif rose, with white rose, with the rose leaf, rose wax, wild rose absolute, rose attar and Bakur, I think it's gonna be phenomenal. So I really want to get my hands on it and just in case you've already smelled it, please let me know if it's similar to Kazimi, is it as great as this one is or better. Actually, just let me know how it smells because probably I won't get it anytime soon, but it's on my to try list for sure. However, fragrances that are in my cart are some of the brand new Zara releases and they're not in the shop yet, they're not in Fragrantica yet, but Perfumo is very quick and it seems like um, they've created this uh, collection that um, is called surfing and then different destinations and they come hold on in the bottles oh my goodness i should have been more prepared but um this ones you know fragrances that look um very slick and chic and modern i really like fragrances that come in this design because some of them are very niche inspired, others very minimalistic, like for example this fresh one and these surfing fragrances seem to be on the fresh side, so maybe they're going to be launched in the summer, but I could find them online, so maybe I will order them in case you want my review on them. So I'm looking forward for your feedback down below in the commentary section because I, you know, would buy them, so just in case you want me to, because I'm, I'm tempted, really. Guys, you just say go and I will get it and I will review for you all of these surfing fragrances. Um, there are four in total. I won't get into, you know, like notes and stuff. So let's just uh, move on to some other fragrances by Zara. And they're not as brand new as the surfing collection, but still I haven't smelled them just yet. So there is tonic impact and um, it seems to be a very fresh, uh, green, citrus kind of fragrance with patchouli, geranium and bergamot. And those are not my most favorite notes, but it might be a very lovely wearable springtime and summertime perfume, like the next one that is called Infinite Wave. So I think it's going to be more oceanic and probably wavy, like, you know, an ocean, marine, aquatic type of perfume with vetiva, sage and mandarin orange. And I think it's going to be another very, you know, bright and light type of fragrance, perfect for warmer days. And then they also have this um, perfume that's more on the floral side that is called Radiant Bloom. So in here we have bergamot, guyacwood and jasmine. So probably it's going to be a very light, minimalistic uh, and more floral kind of perfume. But um, yeah, I'm excited for this collection it's on my to try list for sure not in my car just yet because I think it's gonna be just a little bit too yeah simple for me personally I'm way more excited for the surfing collection but there are some other newer fragrances from Zara at least I haven't smelled them in the shop nor I seeing them online and this is first of all wild coolness and I love the name of it I don't know it just sounds so like cool right <laughs> know what that was. Anyway, wild coolness, uh, benzoin, cardamom, grapefruit. I think it's gonna be more spicy, more, you know, like with some beautiful energetic kick in there because of the grapefruit, but benzoin might change some things in the dry down because it's actually a very heavy, powdery, balsamic base note. So I don't know what to expect from this one, but I'm pretty much sure that the rest is going to be lighter, fresher, citric, cologne type of fragrances. And honestly, I'm not into that style overall. That's for, I'm like, okay, if I get a chance, they're definitely on my try list, but on my to buy list, and I'm still searching for this black and also like, um, 
a bit not black but like sandish colored collection also by zara it's kind of like a zara video today but not really i have some other fragrance to talk about later but first things first majestic green regal white magnificent black and imperial purple i love the names i like that they're giving us an idea how the fragrances will smell because you know how's it a thing called synesthesia help me out in the comments guys i know that you know what i'm talking about like uh, when you picture a certain color smelling a perfume or like when you have uh, material on your mind that you think go well with a certain you know like color you know what do i mean anyway you guys i really want to smell this collection i think it's going to be potent because the notes i mean like the materials that are listed in these fragrances they speak for themselves for example in this fragrance regal white we have fig and proxen chestnut and i mean like chestnut so delicious so i would say just appealing because we don't see this note in fragrances that often and if there is a fragrance with chestnut it's always amazing i'm thinking about that one by miss margiela and also i have a very expensive perfume from Bottega Veneta's collection that's called Azalea. They have chestnut in them and sometimes it can just add to the texture plus there is coconut water and vetiver which are very textural notes as well so that's just an example of one of these some um, colored cold fragrances that sounds very interesting another one would be magnificent black so i don't know how dark it's gonna be but black i think it's gonna be like the darkest from the collection and there is leather patchouli and amber with cedar wood in there so those are just darker heavier base notes overall but there are also some aquatic notes jasmine violet so some floral sea some mineralic touches so i really hope to get my nose on this collection it's on my to buy list for sure i just love the sound the look of it it's so you know like sleek and beautiful looks very expensive even niche and i love what zara has been doing over the last couple of years not necessarily duping niche friends but getting inspired and just leveling up the quality they still have more of mainstream and even younger audience appealing collections color wise design wise you know those are brighter bottles with um, just lighter and more innocent fragrances but then they have other collections that won't make you feel like you need to break um, the bank with them and at the same time they last they perform well and they smell really expensive and like for example even many designer fragrances that yeah kind of putting some thought into the packaging but um, scent wise not delivering some like anything creative or artistic so i love what zara has been doing it's actually my most favorite designer brand today i'm not wearing zara but we are not talking like exclusively zara i'm still you know working on my zara's uh videos that are coming up real soon just recently i've reviewed their brand new summer edition of red temptation in case you missed it please check it out because it's amazing but yeah there is this other collection and i'm not sure if it's called um over the desert i mean like it's similar to this black line but it has white labeling and this one seems um to be found even harder so maybe it's exclusive to some boutiques or online shops i'm not sure but i can't find them so just in case you've already smelled them please let me know if i should continue searching for them in case they're worth it so anyway with that being said final fragrance for today is apparently a limited edition by an indie perfumer anatole lavreton who i know personally he's extremely talented very creative french perfumer who was really into collecting vintage fragrances and then started creating his own fragrances and they are so nice i mean like if you know his perfumes comment below your favorite i have a few i really love grimoir it's like a powerful incense smoky fragrance but there is another very lovely boudoir powdery lipstick type of perfume in carnata and a few others but this one tamam and i believe it's turkish right or a Arabic, um, which means understood. I might be mistaken, please correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds so good because it seems to be 
uh, gourmand oud. Well, there is um, date, uh, grapefruit, cypress oil, rose, sandalwood, incense, cedar, moss, and uh, cistus, if I'm not wrong. So maybe not necessarily oud, but like um, a woody, smoky fragrance with a gourmand touch. And I'm really excited for it in case I happen to smell it. I will definitely let you know what I think about it on my social media. So don't forget to follow me on my Instagram to stay in touch. And for more perfume content, also check out the description box for more helpful information. Use my discounts and definitely get active in the commentary section. If you enjoyed watching today's spontaneous chat and relaxed video and learning about some interesting new perfume launches please give this video a huge thumbs up because they really help me out a lot feel free to subscribe if you haven't done that already and thank you so much for watching this video let me know which of um, some recent perfume launches were attracted to you and you put in your cart or to try list i can't wait to chat with you down below if you want to know something if you have any questions left i'm here to answer them and you make sure to stay tuned and smell good we'll see each other next one really soon Bye, guys. And it's me again, guys. I just really wanted to pop in and to let you know that a few brands have released really interesting fragrances that I wanted to touch on, one of which is, for example, Yum Pistachio Gelato 33 by the brand Kayali that comes in such a stunning pale green bottle with this frosted design that I cannot wait to try out this delicious fragrance with a bunch of sweet notes and some nuts including the pistachio because the fragrance should evoke the memory of uh, going to Italy and having their true amazing delicious gelato. So on that note I hope to try it out really soon. Maybe I will blind buy it because I love the design and I love the sound of it. I love my gourmand so I think this is going to be an amazing addition to my Kayalis collection because I have quite a few of their fragrances and really enjoy them. But let me know if you know this brand and if you have any fragrances from them. But there is another new fragrance while well, sending you but I've never heard anyone talking about this Shea and Blue Tonka Angelica fragrance and I love the notes because they make it sound really powdery. There is Angelica, Heliotrop, Tonka Bean and Asmanthus but each note is powdery in its unique way. So I would really love to know if you have any experience with this particular fragrance and on that note that was all now. If you like watching these you know kind of update episodes what's new out there I will definitely make sure making them. Just let me know down below.